How's it going, everyone? I am your coach for the San Francisco Swampers, trainer, caller, and I am here for an update video regarding to the Indigo League of Legends. This week is week number six, and we are almost done with season two. If I were to win this week and next week, who knows, I might be able to make it to the playoffs for this season. And let me tell you, I'm really excited. I, you know, making the playoffs is a huge achievement for me. I think I said that in my last video, but yeah. If we were if we were going to win the match it says, and that's not going to be an easy task. Uh yeah. So, this is an update video. Yeah, um, our opponent, Blue Shell and I, were supposed to have a Pokemon battle this week. And I'm here to tell you right now that there is no battle this week, okay? No battle video this week. And the reason behind it is really simple, because... See, what happened was, I was getting ready, I was going to post my analysis video today, alongside with the battle as well, as a separate video too. However, I was, you know, putting my Pokemon in my battle box to battle my opponent, Blue Shell, putting their items on. At the time, I was not connected to the internet. And then after I was done assembling my team to face Blue Shell, I was having issues with my Wi-Fi connection. And let me tell you, okay, let me tell you this. That is not good for me, because, like, really, if, like, okay, this is a, this is a Pokemon battling league. If you disconnect for whatever reason in a Pokemon league format battle in this scenario, you are recorded as a loss for the team that you're coaching. That's what Mac, the creator of the Indigo League of Legends, is saying. So what happened was we were, um, I was telling my opponent because I was actually having issues prior to connecting with my opponent. I was like saying the blue shell via Twitter direct messages privately. I'm saying, you know what, I'm having issues with my Wi-Fi connection. What should we do if I were to disconnect it all? And we agreed to have a rematch, okay? And... Unfortunately to say, that did not happen. I'll, I'll tell you that in a second, but yes, yeah, so what happened was I was connected to Blue Shell when the match started. I was doing pretty well. I was leading the battle when my Wi-Fi connection dropped. That's what happened, and you know what? It was going to be a recorded loss. And so what happened was we were chatting and saying, you know, what, what should we do now because I disconnected and I told you that was going to happen. And Blue Shell forfeited. Blue Shell said, you know what, I'm busy now because, you know, it's, this is becoming too stressful. If we were going to rematch, that would be taking out a lot of my time because, you know, you know, time constraints, all that. So Blue Shell is going to be taking the loss and I'm going to get the win, which means the San Francisco Swampers are four wins and two losses. And I'm really annoyed by this because, you know, I really wanted to battle Blue Shell because I felt very confident and the fact that I was preparing for him all week, as soon as I was done facing Isaiah from last week, I went straight to playing for him, I was getting the right Pokemon, and, you know, it's just very annoying, it's really frustrating to have your Wi-Fi connected, like your Wi-Fi connection be dropped during a time like this, you know, in a Pokemon League competition. So we agreed, I talked to Mac about this, and he said that I'm going to take the win because it was officially confirmed by Blue Shell, and I told him that via Skype conversation. So yes, uh, there's no battle this week uh, because the Wi-Fi connection dropped. I wasn't able to save the match that we were having. So I'm really, I'm really sorry to say this, guys, and you know, it's, it's really frustrating. I feel very bad. But 
Now, I want to do a quick team analysis. I, if you notice here, I actually ended up getting some new members for the San Francisco Swampers, and I'm here to tell you this in this video as well. So, here's, what, here's the scoop. I'm keeping Gengar, Mega Gengar, Talonflame, Ferrothorn, Kiram Black, I'm keeping Mian Shao, Behem, Gastrodon, Wigglycuff, and Flygon, and Ditto. So those Pokemon, those 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, those 9 Pokemon are staying with us. And I actually picked up two new members replacing Umbreon and Avalug. I told you guys, uh, I think it was last week, that I was going to most likely drop my Avalug for someone else. And that Pokemon is going to be Hitmonchan, the boxing Pokemon. Now Hitmonchan has a very similar role in the form of Rapid Spinning. Rapid Spin support is really crucial for this team because if my opponent was going to set up Stealth Arsenal or Spikes or Toxic Spikes, I can Rapid Spin those away to get rid of them. And I actually made a trade with the Minnesota Munchlaxes. I got rid of my Umbreon, uh, and I got Porygon 2. So Porygon 2 is my second new member to the San Francisco Swampers. If you look at my team now, it looks like I have two normal type Pokemon, that's Porygon 2 and Ditto. I also have Mian Shao and Hitmonchan, who are both fighting type Pokemon. And you're like, okay, that's not really a good team structure, you know. But you know what, it's not like I'm going to bring both of them in the same battle. I can, you know, switch it up. I could bring Mian Shao to one battle. I can bring Hitmonchan in one battle. I can bring Porygon Q and Ditto respectively. I can have a combination of different mons to, you know, make it so that I don't have to bring those two of the same type, you know. So yes, uh, that's what's happening there. The San Francisco, uh, let me tell you this, having Hitmonchan is really going to come into huge play when I face week number seven, and that is going to be the, the Tacoma Trevenants, who's a really good team, and I cannot wait to battle him, assuming that my Wi-Fi works. Uh, yeah, so Hitmonchan is a great selection here. Uh, it was a suggestion by my friend Guy, aka at Rastral Ragtime. Astral Ragtime, excuse me, on Twitter. So, Guy, thank you for the suggestion. So, we've got Hitmonchan and Porygon 2 into our lineup. And I'm really excited to use him for the final week of the season. So, now we're here for the a little bit of analysis on my opponent's team here, the Atlanta Farfetch'd. He's got a good draft. I can see that he was um, carrying some some of the same types overall. We see Genesect here from Pokemon left to right, that is, to make it easy for you guys. To the far left, we have Genesect. Genesect is a uber Pokemon there. That's his uber pick. Genesect is a really good Pokemon. You can go Scarfed or Specs. He's got a lot of versatile sets, just to stay out there. He's got a Bronzong. Bronzong can set up entry hazards in the form of Stealth Rock, or he can set up Trick Room. And that's really good for Pokemon like Mega Venusaur and Dawnfan and to a lesser extent Amoongus and Aromatise. Uh, so that's really cool. He's got a Heatran that can also set up Stealth Rocks and go for a lot of them and burn things and toxic things as well. Just an overall defensive Pokemon there. He's got Lachios. Lachios is the other form, or not other form, I mean the other uh, Lachios, the Mega, or the <laughs> the Venus Venusaurus. I, I'm almost saying v Mega Venusaur, but it's the Venus Venusaurus. That's Necrosivo. He has Lachios, but this week the Atlanta Farfetch'd has Lachios. And Lachios has, um, has a really interesting typing there. He can go for Defog, get rid of Entry Hazards. 
I wish I had a defogger. That would be really cool. So that's that, and then Mega Venusaur, I already mentioned that, because I was misspeaking at the time. Mega Venusaur can go for Leech Seed and Synthesis, he can go Offensive with Growth and Giga Drain and all that. He has Primeape and Dawn Fan. Primeape is there for Scarf or Bandit to bring Offensive Pressure, and then Dawn Fan, of course, Dawn Fan can also set up Stealth Fox. He can bring either one. He can also go for Rapid Spin. He has a Salamence. Now that Pokemon is really annoying. I'm really grateful that that thing isn't going Mega. Because Mega Salamence, guys. I'm going to make a video in the near future that displays the power of Mega Salamence. Just saying. Mega Salamence. Having Salamence alone is powerful enough. But yeah, I'm really grateful that it's not Mega for the ILL. He has an Alomomoa. Alomomoa is that water type Pokemon that's there for Wish support. Aromatisse and Slurpuff, two fairy type Pokemon. And they have their roles be very similar in the form of aromatherapy. I, I think I think it's just Aromatisse that gets aromatherapy. And then Slurpuff can go for Draining Kiss. He can go for Belly Drum, Play Rough. That's annoying. And then finally, Amoongus. Um, Amoongus is really good as a defensive Pokemon. He can put things to sleep, go for Stun Spore to slow things down, predicting a switch to something that does not want to, you know, take a Giga Drain or something. I don't know. So that's the team for the Atlanta Farfetch'd. And I have my Pokemon here as well. And overall, I think I had a good advantage over my, t my opponent's team. And I was winning when we disconnected, so yeah, I was probably going to win even after disconnecting. So, this is a long video. I should probably be done right now. So yes, again, I am really sorry, but there's no battle of this week for the Indigo League of Legends week number 6. However, I feel like there's going to be a battle video for week number 7 against the Tacoma Trevenants. There's going to be an analysis video for that. Stay tuned for that, guys. And I will see you all later. Alright. Again, I'm sorry, and I will see you guys all later. Alright, goodbye, trainers.